It's an expensive stock market out there, but Barron's Roundtable members always have interesting investments. I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Oscar Schaefer, chairman yeah. of Rivulet Capital. Uh, let's talk first about your big picture view of the economy and the markets, and then we'll, we'll dive into your picks. Well, I'm more of a stock picker than a macro guy, but uh, I think the first half is going to be good and the second half will be difficult. I think as inflation picks up and interest rates go up, I think they'll be more competitive for the market, but short term, uh, uh, you know, as Warren Buffett said, uh, stock market forecasters uh, have their value because they make fortune tellers look good. So I'm not a real stock market forecaster. I'm a stock picker. Uh, with that, let's jump into the stock picks. Uh, you've got some interesting ones for us, including uh, one that you've talked about for a while. Well, I've talked about two for a while. One is called Interaction, which is a data, uh, data neutral carrier in, in, in Amsterdam, actually. And the beautiful thing about this company is it invests, it's a real estate business that reinvests at 20% return on investment. They can grow, but it's a rapidly consolidating industry, and I think someone eventually will buy them. Uh, recently, a Chinese company paid 23 times EBITDA for 49% control of another carrier neutral data center, and I think w with or without an acquisition, this company could be up 30 or 40%. Interaction, I-N-X-N is the symbol. The other one is ANI Pharmaceuticals, which I've talked to about in the past, they have 11 and a half million shares, sales at 62. I think they're well on their way to making $100 million of EBITDA, which is their short-term goal. But the most interesting thing is they have, you have a call option when you own the stock on them filing sometime this year of a supplement, supplementary NDA on a product which will probably yield them $200 million a year EBITDA on 11 million shares, and the stock's only at shares, and the stock's only at 62. And what are the drugs that, uh, they're, that they own? Well, they're, new, well, they, they're basically a drug manufacturer, and the drug that they are going to file, hopefully, for soon is a drug that is now produced by Mallinckrodt. It's a generic that's already been approved, but it's a long process of getting it approved by the FDA. And right now, Mallinckrodt sells a billion and a half dollars of this product. So that's why I think this company will come in at a lower price, will help the payer, which is just great from the FDA's point of view, and will make a lot of money. And you've got some new names for us. Well, I have one new name, and that's AA in, AA in London. That's like the AAA in the United States, except unlike uh, AAA in the United States, they have their own service stations. It's a company that's run by a man who ran Northgate, a company that I recommended a couple of years ago when we made three times our money. Uh, Bob McKenzie, and he's come into this company. It's highly leveraged, but he's turned it around as far as the subscription to people. In. It's a great free cash flow machine, and the stock sells about three pence, and I think it could be three pounds, and I think it could be five in the next year or two. And British cars are renowned for being lovely, but breaking down a lot. So well, I don't know if Jaguar, like now business. that it's owned by Ford, is as bad, but it does, <laughs> it does have that reputation. <laughs> Thanks very much, Oscar. Yeah. Thank you.